Hello folks and welcome to an inkdependence.com brief video review and water drop test. This time we have two cans orange which comes in a little vial like this. This is a sample vial. That's how much I've got left. About, I don't know, milli half or eh, maybe two left. This is an Anderson pen sample so it has got comes with a uh, three mil sample. You can also get these in big bags of ink which is kind of a fun way that uh, two cans send their ink out. Uh, you can only get these at Anderson Pens, so thanks very much for Anderson Pen to Anderson Pens for sending these out for me to review. And uh, if you want to get some of this Toucan Orange, go see AndersonPens.com. They will fix you up. All right. So Toucan Orange is really kind of a bright orange ink. It's uh, a little bit similar to this uh, Blazing Sunset that I just did from Levenger. Um, the difference being that this one is more saturated. It's not as dark as the Blazing Sunset, as you can see here on the swatch. It's a little bit lighter. Uh, there's the two swatches together, kind of. Uh, it's a bit lighter, but also it doesn't shade as much, so it's got more of a saturation going on. Um, and I think this is perfectly fine for uh, uh, an ink that you would use all the time. I take notes with it, all that jazz. I was using it in this Artista Crystal, but this has a Franklin Kristoff nib in there. You can see a little FC on there, because uh, I dropped and bent my original Artista nib. Um, I did have a couple of hard starts. Well, I take that back. I almost always had a hard start with this ink, but it is not the ink's fault. It is the nib's fault. I had the uh, Artista uh, feed in there, which is a cool, clear feed. You can see now I've got the black feed in there, and this uh, pen works much better with the Franklin Christoph nib and the Franklin Christoph feed. Uh, for whatever reason, it just wasn't behaving well with the Artista feed and the Franklin nib. So this one, I think, flows fine. While I had hard starts to, uh, to get going, it uh, was like the feed wasn't keeping up. So it's not the ink's fault. Uh, I think this one has perfectly fine flow. Maybe a little on the dry side, but not much. Not much. So this one, uh, like I said, is more saturated than your average toucan ink, which is great for me. I like my inks a bit more saturated. I do like when they shade, and this one doesn't really shade. You can see a little bit maybe here, but not a whole lot. Um, I don't know, let's see what the comparisons are here. I've got it compared next to uh, Lavender Blazing Sunset, the only other orange I had inked up. I don't really have a tremendous number of orange inks. I've got like five. No, it's got to be more than that. I don't know. Check the blog for the orange tag. Uh, but it's a little bit like that sunset. Uh, not really at all like the reds and such you're going to see in here. And uh, I've got gr Stormy Gray down here with, for a comparison. Let's see. Can you see the sparkle pony nature of this thing? No, not very many sparkles right now. Huh. Yeah, you can sort of see them. This is uh, unfortunately just uh, you know light from my fan above. I don't know. It's kind of uh, I don't know wintry outside, so there's not a whole lot of light coming in the window. All right, let's check out this water drop action. Throw some water on there. Oops, there we go. And you can see a lot of it coming up already. Not super surprising. These two can inks don't really have anything in the way of water resistance. It's just not their thing. So if you're looking for water resistance. I have to look at another brand. These all run from water. I'll just blot, blot this away. And yeah, completely gone. There it is on the uh, brand new shiny wipey towel. Almost brand new. And uh, yeah, nothing really left there. You can't even really see where the lines and dots were. So this one, not at all water resistant. Nope, that's what's coming up next. But underneath, no problems. Um, this one, I do have uh, both of these samples pretty close to each other. Come on now. iPhone, zoom out for me, would you? Here we go. So one thing about this orange ink as compared to Blazing Sunset is that Blazing Sunset bleeds through. You can pretty well read the whole thing. Orange, I mean it shows through, but you know, a couple of spots coming through and that's about it. All right, I can hear my dog yipping outside the door. She hates being locked out. All right, so this has been uh, Two Cans Orange. Please go to uh, Anderson Pens, give them uh, 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 an order for this stuff. It's really cool, it comes in little bags which are neat. Oh, here's the chromatography. I almost forgot about that. Let's get this focused a little bit better. And come on. Come on, iPhone. You know you want to focus. There we go. You can see down here, right there is about where this one started out. And it all fled straight up the strip. There's not really anything in there except for oranges. Maybe just a tinge of reddish looking stuff up here in the, the this very corner. But that's about it. All kind of orange. And orange is, uh, well gone from the bottom. So I wasn't expecting any water resistance and we didn't get any. So toucan orange, not water resistant. Anyway, there you go. Peace out guys.